why does my hair look really fucking disgusting on camera but in person it looks fine like in person it looks fine but on camera that looks orange but it's not orange in person how the fuck does that work anyway hi so today i was like you know what i'm gonna make a video where i make myself look less ugly for work um because um i have no time to film anything else and i have Hi, first video of 2019 and it's a fucking mess. Mm. So yesterday, last night, um, I went to... Aggie came over to my house and oh, Queen, I love her so much. Like honestly, Aggie is the love of my life. I sister stan. <sighs> I love you. <laughs> she did my hair. <clears throat> Basically, uh, before this, I obviously had like really like bright ass orange slash red hair got so sick of it to the point every time i looked into my mirror and i saw the red i was like Ugh. i was like you know what fuck this put a color remover in it took all of it out the color remover that i used is this one i swear by it it's my favorite hair color remover i've ever used and it smells really bad but it works so good like oh i fucking love it she put in a hair color remover, bleached my roots, and I mean, I put in a bit of silver shampoo to kind of neutralize the yellow, because my hair was like banana yellow after. Um, and uh, this is the result. Like, on camera, it looks orange, but it's not orange. It's like ashy blonde. It's very pale in real life, but it's bothering me that it doesn't look the same on camera. Ugh! This is not fair then again when my hair was red it looked orange on camera the whole time and i was like what so hi today we're gonna look less ugly for work because i am going to work today because i am 22 and i have bills to pay so let me zoom y'all in that's disgusting oh my god so a story time so basically there's this starbucks that i go to um near the place i work at so I live really far away from work and I have to get the bus into work um, beside, um, also fuck the trio for I either have to take the bus an hour early or I'm gonna be late for work it's so stupid but um anyways so there's a Starbucks and it's super close to the place I work at and I go there every day and I'm not even exaggerating like mm, yeah I go there every day and I go there like once a week I go there every single day like every single day to the point where I know all the baristas, I have my favorite baristas, um, I'm literally like low-key friends with all of them and they like, they know my order off my heart. They're like, oh, it's that bitch again. <laughs> um, they're all so nice. I love them so much. My friend works there as well, so I'm like, mm, hi. <sighs> so I go there all the time before work because like, I'm like, I have an hour to kill. I have nothing to do. So I just, you know, grab a coffee or something. Um... Or like, sometimes I have lunch before work so I don't starve until my break. <laughs> and yeah, it's cool. But here's the thing. So I went in there, um, I think it was January 1st and... No, it was January 2nd, I think. Um, anyways, start of January. And my heart... Like, they, they were like, oh yeah, um, two seconds. And I was like, okay. And they were like, they came out with this like red box. And I was like, what's going on? And they were like, oh, congrats. You won the most like loyal customer or something like that of the year. And I was gonna cry. <laughs> that was so sweet. That was so cute. I was like, I'm not worthy. I am not worthy of these things. That was so sweet. They are so nice in there. Like, honestly, love you all. Um... And yeah, it was so, like, I was, like, shook. <laughs> Sister shook. Um, and yeah, I won really nice coffee beans, this cool coffee mug thing. And then I also got, like, this um, voucher kind of thing. So I get free drinks for the whole of January, so what's up? Um, so that's really cool. Thanks, Starbucks. Please sponsor me. <laughs> Might fuck around and just start working there, to be honest. Like, I practically live there. Might as well just work there. Um, speaking of work... <clears throat> work is... Pain. <laughs> um, you know what? Work is alright. I mean, it could be better. It's just... Ugh. I'm just tired, to be honest. I got really sick recently. I <laughs> love that for me. Of course I did. Like, 
One of my coworkers, I think he has like the vomiting bug or something. I don't know. He hasn't been in work for like a week and a half. And like he went home. So it was a Thursday and we were working a shift together, but he came in, started feeling really sick. So he went home and I was like, mm, I'll get well soon. But that day, like that night, I was going to the cinema with my friends and my boyfriend and I was on the bus up to Castle Troy. What's up? And I started feeling nauseous on the bus and I was like, mm, okay, this is weird. But I kind of shook it off. I was like, whatever, it's probably nothing. Um, and in the cinema, halfway through the movie, actually not even halfway through the movie, like we we're like, I'd say 30 minutes into the film and I start feeling nauseous and I'm like, Oh my god, low-key panic, because I'm like, I'm in the middle of the cinema, there's people everywhere around me, if I start throwing up, it's gonna be fucking gross, um, no one wants to see that, I don't want to do that, I was like, if I do get sick, we have like a half-empty popcorn bag, I'm just gonna vomit into that, but I was like, I leaned over to my boyfriend and I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna throw up, <laughs> so I had to like, go to the bathroom, it was awful, couldn't stop feeling nauseous so I was like why am I feeling so nauseous <laughs> my first thought was, was that I was pregnant I I'm not but um that was like my first thought and um the first thing that I went to do was like get a pregnancy test <laughs> because I'm I am that bitch so I went to the like nearest pharmacy and man the pharmacist in there was such a judgmental person like oh my god she was so judgy she was like she was judging me hard like i plucked over that pregnancy test and i was like uh, just in case you never know and uh like i was feeling so nauseous and i also had to pee a lot and i was like mm -hmm. and i just felt weird like you know what it better safe than like double check but she was so judgmental. Like, what's up with all the pharmacists always judging you? I know I look 12, but I'm not. And, like, she was so judgy. She was like... And I was like, okay, bitch. Um, yeah, left that place. Um, felt awkward for, like, 10 minutes. Um, but, uh, not pregnant. So I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? Um, so I was like, okay, whatever. The next day, couldn't go into work because I still felt like shit. Um... And then it was a Sunday and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go into work. I feel good now. Big mistake. I went into work and I threw up so bad. Like my coworker was like halfway through serving a customer and I was like, I'm gonna throw up if I don't go to the bathroom. So got sick. It was awful. I spent like 40 minutes in that bathroom. My coworkers were like, you know what? <laughs> go home. I went home. I was like, what is wrong with me? Every possibility. I mean, I was like, I'm not pregnant. Um, I don't think it's food poisoning. Um, I don't know what's up. So I went to the doctor and he was like, you have kidney problems again. Yay. Um, when I was describing the symptoms to him, he was like, Loki, like, he was like, we need a urine sample. And I was like, I know exactly what you think. Um, but I I'm not pregnant. He was like, oh, turns out it's your kidneys. And I was like, Of course it is. Uh, fun fact, if you didn't know, I have three kidneys. Wow. Uh, don't know anything about them. Don't know how they work. Don't ask me. I don't know. So, um, I wasn't surprised. I was like, why am I getting nauseous then? And he was like, mm, yeah, this thing like makes you feel sick sometimes. Explains why I have to pee all the time. I'm peeing constantly. Like every half an hour, I'm going to the bathroom. Like I feel like I should might as well fucking live on the toilet. Um, yeah, good thing I went to the doctor though, because I wasn't gonna go, because I thought it was the vomiting bug, but then I was like, that's so weird, because why am I the only one that caught it or something? So yeah, it turns out it's my kidneys, and life is all cool and good. So I'm on medication now, that's great. I still feel a tiny bit nauseous sometimes, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I love that for me. I love it when my kidneys betray me. That's the wild story of my kidneys. And honestly, I've been like missing a lot of work lately. And like, it's because my health is trash. <laughs> so I've been missing quite a lot of work. And I feel guilty because I'm like, oh, like, mm, I'm sorry. But also because I'm like, I need to make money. I have bills to pay. Um, so I can't afford to miss work. Um, and I think my boss like Loki hates me. <laughs> 
no he doesn't my boss he's a gemini um he's unreal i love my boss so much but like <sighs> i've been so annoying recently that i'm like i'm sorry <laughs> ew all i do is work like ever since new year oh my god new year's my whole like if you follow me on instagram or snapchat my whole story was just me dancing really badly with my tits out like dead ass New Year's was fun. I spent it um, with my friends at Laura's house um, and like it was good. We were all dancing, you know, happy new year, wow. Oh my god, it was like five in the morning and we were all like cramped on this tiny ass sofa like, like in her living room watching Bird Box and I hated it. I hated it. Like, here's the tea. Um, <clears throat> I watched Bird Box and I hated it because it made me very anxious. Like, because I don't know, like, ugh, it was just like low key scary. Anything that like anything about the end of the world just makes me feel very anxious. And like, also like I, I like I was like, oh my god, what if I was in her situation? Like, fuck, that is just terrifying. And I couldn't get that out of my head. And I was like, I hate this also i uh, woke up at nine o'clock in the morning i don't know why we all woke up so early um and and we started the new year's off by watching the b movie because we are trash yeah i fell asleep in my makeup on new year's mm, i had like a total of four hours of sleep or something i fell asleep in my makeup and my skin i was like you stupid bitch um Sleeping in makeup is not the one if you have skin like mine that breaks out all the time. I literally have nothing else to like say because like literally, ooh, Jesus, um, nothing else has been happening. My life hasn't been that exciting. Like it's all right, but it wasn't, it's like, I don't have any other story times. I don't think I do. Oh my God. Can we talk about weird people? Like creepy customers, please. Oh my God. I'm going to zoom you all in. Um, creepy customers can fuck off. <laughs> um, I have so many weird men come up to me and work and they're like, okay. So there's this customer that comes in, <laughs> like he used to come in a lot and now he barely comes in and my coworker was like, oh my God, long time no see, where did you disappear? And he goes, oh, I just got out of jail on Friday and we're like, okay <laughs> cool um he asked he asked my coworker to marry him and i was like bitch what the fuck and then then he came in i was working a day shift and he came out during the day and like my boss was like right next to me doing something and i there was a long queue of people and he was like kind of in the middle and uh, he was like, oh, hi. And I was like, oh, hello. And I think he called me pretty or something. I don't remember. And I was like, hmm, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then he was like, he, he was like, oh, come over. And I was like, what? And he was like, I'm in love with you. Like, I love you. I am in love with you. And I was like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Like, what the actual fuck? fuck and it was so awkward because all the customers started staring at me and i was like mm, yikes.com um and then he was like can you give me a kiss and i was like what the fuck um and my boss was like no kisses in here <laughs> but like what the hell what's up with that bro like weird customers like what the fuck and I get a lot of them, I swear. I could make a huge story time about the weird shit that happens at work. For real. Like, I've had so many creepy old men come up to me and they're all like, wow, oh my god, like, you're so hot. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Just take your food and fucking leave. Like, my, my, my one of my coworkers had a customer propose to her. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is zoom you all in a tiny bit. So, I'm, oh, jeez. I'm gonna use a bit of highlight and put that in here.
Alrighty, why is it constantly out of focus? It's mascara time. I use two mascaras on my eyelashes because as you can see, they look non-existent right now. But we're gonna change that, so let me zoom y'all in again. Okay, it's contour time. I love loads of blush, like I always go extra with my blush, but not for work because then work would be like, what the fuck? I go kind of like subtle with my blush when I'm going to work, you know, like you can't really tell it's there, but um, it is. <laughs> Whereas on my days off, I'm like, hi, let's put blush on everything. And now it is the final step and that is highlight <laughs> what's up so to highlight i use this palette which i love it's great and this you can obviously tell which one is the most used one i mean so that's the one i use the one in the center it's popping it's so good usually i have like liquid highlight and then put this over to kind of set it but i mean i'm going to work so it doesn't really matter but I like to put on a bit of highlight for work. And I'm done. <laughs> Sorry this video was very long. I don't know how to stop talking. Uh, I'm still mad that my hair looks orange on camera. It's not orange. I promise if you see me in real life, hi. <laughs> Also, like, it's very, like, pale, like, pale, ashy blonde with small bits of ginger in it. Uh, like, at the back, because, um, mm, these ends are tragic. But, um, in person, it's like, ooh, sweet little baby angel. And then I'm like, <laughs> hi, the real me. Oh my god, I look like Sabrina, the teenage bitch. <laughs> that was disgusting. So yeah, that's all I do for work. Like, I literally don't do anything else because I don't care. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go earn that um, money <laughs> right now and I will see you guys later. Bye!